All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. Hi, I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching uh, for a few dollars more. So this is the sequel to A Fistful of Dollars, obviously starring Clint Eastwood. It is our second movie in this sort of a uh, Western series. So very excited about that. Um, yeah, I mean, first movie was cool. It was our first Spaghetti Western, which I learned from, uh, I'm sure you'll tell us in the comments, this video's not up yet, but I also learned from a bunch of other people that Spaghetti Westerns were filmed in Italy, not just because they were cheaper, but because they also did this thing where everybody spoke their own language, which explains why a lot of it looks dubbed because it was. Um, so that's really cool. Makes sense. Uh, I know some people really hate that about Spaghetti Westerns and they can't like watch it because it just bugs them. Really? I was cool with it. Okay. It worked. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see where... Like, is this just going to be another episodic thing with this character? Or are we going to maybe, like, develop him a little bit more? I don't know. Um, Not sure. So, as I was, full length reactions up at the Patreon. Next week's reaction is going to be the third movie, uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And, yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you're new here, welcome. And let's just get into for a few dollars more. Yeah, I don't even know what I want. I don't know either. I would almost be happy with it. It just depends on how they do it. I would almost be happy with either him not changing at all uh, and kind of it being like, oh, it's a different setup here. And he's just kind of doing his thing like he did the last movie. Or I don't know. I'd be intrigued if they were like, no, we're going to take his character somewhere. I kind of don't want them to take his character somewhere. I kind of want I think I want him to kind of be like this outside force force, you know, like he's almost not the main or something like that. He just takes part in the story. He's the common theme of the story. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. Yeah. I think that could be kind of cool. Well, the real question is, is this him? Whoa. Oh, well, guess not. I was a little like, whistling doesn't seem quite uh, his shtick. Yeah. But was that him whistling? Oh, that's yep. sick. Might have been the sniper whistling. That's why we're so close. What a great opening. Look at that That's horse, cool. bro. That's really cool. What a, what a, that's so dark. I love that. Yeah, I like this, the stylistic, like, text. Credits, yeah. It's probably pretty hard to do for the time as well. I love the music. Yeah, they always have, like, it feels like this whistling. Yeah. And the, the drums sound like hoof beats. Yeah, the type of, like, what is that song that has that similar like galloping beat? That's like a famous song. <laughs> Knights of Sidonia, that's what it was. It always reminds me of that. Where life in it does sometimes have its place. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> Tears? This is part of Tukum Kari. We should pass there in about three or four minutes. Oh, dang. You made a mistake, Reverend. I pedal goods around here, and I better tell you you're on the wrong train. Is he really a Reverend? I don't know. Returning by way of Amarillo, you should be able to get right where you're going. <laughs> the train doesn't stop at Tukum Kari. Bounty Hunter? Maybe. I'm wondering if... This if train will stop at Tukum Kari. The man with no name is is like a bounty hunter? Wait, he's a robber. Or, oh, shoot. Isn't he or something? Yeah, 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 he is. He's robbing the train, dude. I think. Or no, maybe he's just being a... <laughs> a a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Dang. I don't think so. Oh, he might be stopping it for like his gang or something. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Why would you stop? Something gone wrong? Somebody pull the emergency cord. I don't know. He's just being... He's just being a jerk. Jeez, bro. If you want to get off, you... Well, the railroad company be mighty pleased to make any arrangements. <laughs> oh, dude, my poor man, he's... I did get off. Thanks. All right, let's go! He doesn't feel like an outlaw, you know, or something. His, the way he's dressed, I it feels feel like more he's like a... Bounty a hunter. Yeah, like a bounty hunter or something. Although I guess bounty hunters were pretty rough, too. The West was... And that's why Westerns are so great, right? It's... it's even Western justice is messy. Are those added zeros or something? I don't know. Guy passed by here had on those two zeros. He said, I'm worth a lot more than that. Uh, there isn't anyone got the guts to face that killer, eh? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he looks right at the camera. At least, it's been that way till now. He's like, you better just be ready to add on those extra zeros, though. <laughs> yeah. I like this character. I've no idea where he'd be today. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. I get it. You got to save your own neck. 
Oh, this is perfect. He's entirely vulnerable. Day. Oh, wow. Day. He's gonna start blasting. <laughs> Watch. That's three shots. He's got at least six in the gun, right? Most likely. <gasps> Aren't we on the second story? Did he jump out? Did he just window? jump out the window? Oh, wow. So much for uh, those extra zeros you added <laughs> on there. Like, <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> I love this guy. Man, just dipping. He got dressed fast. Ooh. Uh oh. I don't know if you were gonna make it out of. Oh, oh. 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 dang. Yep. Dang. dang. That's a crazy shot. Was he the guy that shot the guy in the beginning? I think so. What? Is that him? No. What? Isn't that someone else? He looked a little different. Didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh. Oh, dang. Look at all the mods he has. I like how he's just. He <laughs> doesn't care. He knows he can't hit him. It's how calm he is. Yeah. Oh, he's just confident. He knows he can't hit him from there. <laughs> dang. That was sick. There you are. Thousand dollars. What do you know about Kavanaugh? He was seen at White Rocks. Somebody else dropped it. I never seen him before. Hmm. His name is uh, Manco. I, I know it sounds dumb too, but I like that he had like different uh, gear on this too. It's, it's just kind of a cool touch. So it's not like so goofy that he's good. It's like, no, he's clearly just a professional. Uh huh. <laughs> were they implying that his name's Manco? Manco is him? If they were, I don't believe that's his real name. Yeah. Because the whole thing was that he was the man with no name. Is Kavanaugh here? Right. You know baby Kavanaugh? Hmm. Now tell me, you know where I can find him? There, at that table. He's got his back to you. Thanks. That guy dipped. <laughs> Two cards. <laughs> what? Okay. Is this really Kavanaugh or is he going and getting Kavanaugh? Who is the guy getting shaved? Yeah, because- That kind of looked like him was, too, didn't he? Yeah, it was a little suspicious that he said like, oh, that's the guy. Yeah, and it he, seems like, weird that two towns in a row, we got these, you know, caring people who just point out the bad guy. Didn't hear what the bed was. Your life. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. Dang. He's just using his left hand. Alive or dead, it's your choice. Uh-oh. Let Red go. Yeah, that's Kavanaugh. Ooh. Dang. Dang. That was sick. Uh-oh. I don't know if you want to try it. <laughs> Get out of here. $2,000. Takes me three years to earn it. Isn't the sheriff supposed to be courageous, loyal? <laughs> Above all, honest. Yeah, that he is. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> you people need a new sheriff. <laughs> this is so sick. Wait, so how do they tell, like, if they if they got got them? You know, I'm assuming they bring the bodies in. They're just not showing that. Okay. Right. That's often how bounty hunting worked, I believe. Right. You'd have to bring in some sort of. I was just curious because they weren't flying. showing that. I mean, look, if somebody wants to go like real historical, I'd be actually curious because there were actual bounty hunters in the West. I'd be curious how they did that. Yeah, I would assume they would need a body. Otherwise, there'd be so or much. Or something, like, right? Yeah. Some year, like some defining trait. What is guy? Oh, oh, oh. Shoot. It's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm just starting to think like if they dubbed a lot of this stuff, then I feel like a lot of the acting was done in post almost. You know what I mean? Like even these sound effects and stuff, which is crazy because yeah. they do such a good job of it then. It's a lot harder than you would think to make it like look good. Who is this person that they're breaking out? Oh. Is this what's his name? From the last. It is. It is because that's the, the one guy. Yeah. So he didn't die? I thought we killed him. How did he survive? Well, I mean, he probably just survived. I mean, he didn't get shot in the head or anything. Hasta luego, amigo. Really? What did he do to you, bro? Yeah, he he probably saved him. How are you, Nick? Better when I see you. Yes, the better guards. <laughs> Shoot. Just taking you guys out. Open it. 
Is that the armory? <laughs> oh my goodness. Who is it? Rodriguez, senor. Dang. Bro, you didn't hear the shooting? It's very visceral, which I think, given the time these movies were made, I don't know, I think you have to like uh, realize like how like shocking this sort of like, brutal action would be considered. Come along. Uh -huh. Even though, you know, by today's standards, maybe it's not as bloody. Like it is very like just in your face. It's just like, oh, they're dead. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm letting you leave here. That's so you can tell everybody you've seen what takes place here. Bro, you're going to do that again? That didn't do well for you last movie. You're going to do that again? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh-oh. Revenge. It's like, good. Now we can get 10 grand out of it. We're settling it. Yeah. Ooh. should have killed me when you could would be better for you and for them jeez they're really not holding back on this you use the reward to stop raising a friend your family is partly mine i'll take my part now oh gosh this time you'll have a chance to shoot me but not in the back <laughs> let go when you hear the music finish begin are you seeing you can you don't have a choice at this point let's start this is so cool. I the way they're building the soundtrack into, into the, the... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is genius. <laughs> Dang. Go. Go. <sighs> Should have drew midway. I think he was ready for that. Hey, man, you got to take your chance. That was incredible in the church too like just all of it like look at the set piece yeah that was really cool i like how they did that with the music no i mean there's a reason the guy's a genius the, the guy's considered a, a musical genius who did the soundtracks why is he so um kind of like shooken up you know what i'm saying I don't know. check those figures again good day sir good afternoon Douglas Mortimer, Carolina. I'm looking for the largest and most secure bank. I want to assure you our bank here has everything. <laughs> of course he's going to say that, bro. I have a large sum to deposit. Suppose I'm a bandit. Now, what would be the most impossible bank for me to rob? This one. The one bank I would suggest. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Not even India would dare to attack that one. <laughs> it's a fortress there. <laughs> Speaking the truth. <laughs> what time's the next train for El Paso? 11.30. I'll telegraph to my colleagues. <laughs> of course you will. Thanks. All right, we're in Texas now. Welcome. Do you need a stable or a room? <laughs> my name is Fernando. There's a landlady at this room, senor. Married? Yes, but she doesn't care. Jeez. <laughs> this kid's trying to get his tip, dude. That's how it be. That's the bank. As soon as I get some money, I'll put it in. <laughs> You're gonna have to earn it first. I have 50 cents if you'll let me know when anybody you've never seen comes to town. Done, bro. At the hotel, senor. <laughs> He's like, I can see that. Where is he staying? <laughs> <laughs> I like this kid. The hotel. Let me know if you see any more strangers. Hmm? <laughs> Help you, sir? I want the room right above. I'm sorry, it's occupied. It's too bad. Uh... I'm sorry, the room you want is our best. It's always occupied. By who? Check the register. Mary! <laughs> Frick it, the landlady's already going for him. It's Senor Martinez. Senor Martinez. I feel like we could change his mind. <laughs> it's free now. That room is taken. I'll see to it. <laughs> He's nothing but a wild, vicious animal. He's tall, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Our poor guy. Feels bad. Is that her husband? Oh, I'm geez, assuming so. sucks, dude. I'll give you another room immediately. It's the best in the whole hotel. The best. No. We'll he's like, don't even talk to me. I don't care. I'm done. I like to stay on don't go, Mr. Martinez. Martinez. Oh no, he's coming down. Yes, uh, senor. What do you want? <laughs> I don't wear them. <laughs> Yikes. I have a secret theory that. I feel like Clint Eastwood, this, he's like Tom Cruise with this character. This is just him. <laughs> he just turned on a camera and made it a movie. Whoa, dang. Goodness. That's crazy, dude. Hello, my friends. You see, I didn't waste a minute coming here. Yeah, he's messed up or something, man. He's, he's in a way. Sancho, he's in prison for four years. Break him out? Not just listen. A bank at El Paso. 
Hmm. Need you is this safe, hmm. which weighs three tons and can't be opened with dynamite. <laughs> I would like to relay a nice little parable. Was it by the time there was a carpenter? <laughs> He's in the pulpit. This one did well because he was a builder of safes. Okay. There was a banker once who decided he must have his iron safe disguised. Hmm. To look like a wood cabinet. To get it made, the banker goes to our carpenter, carpenter. for the job. Yeah. yeah. And one day, the carpenter is in El Paso. He happens to walk into the bank there. And what does he find? The cabinet? The cabinet. Is this yeah. is he the carpenter? Since he'd worked on the cabinet, he spotted it right away. And he... From that day on, he couldn't work anymore. Yeah, he... There was something he had to do. It was this crazy idea. <sighs> and it stayed. <laughs> and it stayed. <laughs> His good fortune stopped that day because later, as a prisoner, he ran into me. Mm. Oh, that's why he <laughs> killed him. That's why he freaking killed him. The story and I tell you. Because he didn't want him to go get it himself. The money isn't in the safe, it's right in this. Wow. Almost a million dollars in it. What? This bank has the largest deposits in the whole state. It's right there, bro. That's it. Here at the bank at El Paso, we have half a million dollars reserve on hand. Dude, do you know how insane that with inflation? Do you know how insane that is? Yeah, that's crazy. That's like, that's crazy. When the bank is closed, an armed guard always remains here and a patrol is on guard outside. One? You better have more than one. Does the cabinet itself have any like locks or anything like that? Uh, I'm wondering. No. I either way, I think it's probably not as reinforced as the the fake safe is. Well, I'm just saying, do they have to take the whole safe out, or are they gonna just open it and like Maybe take the money with like, with like dynamite even or something? Yeah, bro, you better earn that fifty cents. That's like twelve new guys in the town. He's coming downstairs. More news, amigo. Not a stranger in town. Man has made a dollar fifty, yes. bro. And I know something else. What? <laughs> Good for this kid, man. Make your money. Now there's two more. Where? In the saloon. Uh oh. A little competition here. Yeah, we both uh <laughs> both are on the same job. Huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the, the bartender ducks. Yeah, I mean he knows what time it is. <laughs> Can he hold his temper? I don't know. <laughs> I guess he has. Whiskey. Why do you choose my place to commit suicide? <laughs> <laughs> the hunchback didn't shoot you. He had a very, very important reason. Yeah, because he's trying to lay low. That's why. I was thinking that myself. <laughs> that's also a massive glass of whiskey. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's all secure. It's always like those banks, man. All you gotta do is get cocky. Half five, six, siete. They're just going for it in broad daylight. I guess it doesn't matter to them, bro. They freaking took out the prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guards. Or they're probably uh. Twenty-five. They could be timing out stuff That's too. That's true. Thirty. How far it takes them to go around, oh, or he's how long? Checking too. Shoot, man. What does that mean? Oh, he looked at him. <laughs> yep, it's those four. Is he gonna see, uh, <laughs> what's his name? I mean, no name. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're screwed, buddy. I like how they're such perfect opposites, too. He's like really classy and kind of like, yeah. you know, the man with no name is just n no nonsense. Yeah, but they think very similar. All right, now. Uh, I don't know him. You know everybody. I don't know anybody anymore. I'm dead. <laughs> Shoot, this guy's like, dude, I've lived way too hard of a life. Leave me be. Everybody's in a hurry. That's right. But you're damn good for nothing to change. <laughs> two, 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 three. Disgusting. Dang, that feels bad. And the best thing for you, Prophet, is to sell your land to the company. Now put your tracks in, that'll make you go crazy. Dang, bro. You know what I told him he could do with his railroad? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I mean, then this is what you get, boy. <laughs> like, I mean, unfortunately. Guy respected for fighting back. Yeah. Oh, look at all the. <laughs> but at oh. the same time. I mean, listen. You know what my decision about 
about Sharon was? Well, clearly. You said no. You're right about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no to him and the damn train. I wouldn't. No. This movie has more comedy than the first one. Yeah. In like its own weird way. I wanted to find out about this man. It's obvious you don't know anything. No need to be insulting. <laughs> you can clear out of my house fast before I lose my temper. Oh, Understand? wait. This is your normal voice? <laughs> Where are you going, huh? I guess I better leave before you go and lose your temper. <laughs> Why are you so dang stupid? Hurry up, give me that pistol there. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the one. Now hand it over. Better be careful. How does he carry his gun? Across his belly? Yeah. Well, why didn't you tell me that in the first place, my boy? <laughs> of course I know him. He's Colonel Douglas Mortimer. Oh. A great soldier. Now he's reduced to being a bounty killer, same as you. Because of trains. <laughs> because of the damn trains, damn them. Poo! That explains everything about this guy. Like how he is, you mean? Yeah, like, like, his, like, like his, yeah, his vibe. Also, maybe I'm reading into this like way, way, way too much, but I don't know if they're kind of making a reference with his name being Mortimer to like death, kind of. Because like, oh, maybe, kind of yeah, I mean, maybe. From like, you know, Mors Mortis or whatever, which is death in Latin. I don't know. I feel like these movies think about more than they, than you would imagine. Oh, dang. <laughs> Take you to the station. The gentleman's leaving. <laughs> Don't get this poor guy killed for it. Hold it. I Take think it they're gonna kill him, but... Take it to the station. Go inside. The station. <laughs> it's like, what the frick am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just like the games we know. <laughs> Ooh. I did not expect that. Are we shooting? He might come back and try to punch him. Also, I like, I think he has his army boots on. Does he? Ooh! I actually don't want him to kill this guy. I'm not sure if he will. I don't think he will. <laughs> Peeking dog, a trick maybe. Oh, that's a crazy good shot. It though. is a crazy good shot. <laughs> I like how he does it so casually. I like the filmmaking of it as well. Yeah. Bro, I would be pissed at this point. Is that the distance? Is he trying to get distance for a duel or is he trying to get him out of town? Oh, I'm just wondering. I wonder if you missed that. That shot right there, right? Oh, yeah. Because maybe he's... Is that what he's saying? Ooh. Yeah, I see. Is he? Dang. Bro, he's going to take you down. Shoot. He's got the long barrel pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. <laughs> and dang, that's that guy. I, I like it. Now we have a drink. That's the yeah. way to do it. Can we work together? Maybe. How many men last long in these parts? How long do you expect to last? Well, he could pull a gun fest. When I get my hands on Indio and that $10,000, I'm going to buy myself a little place. I want to get my hands on Indio too. Can we split it? An equal partnership. Why should I? Well, I can think of three reasons. First is there's 14 of them. No small number even for two of us. Hmm. The second reason is you could make it 15 to 1. When two hunters go after the same prey, they usually yeah. end up shooting each other in the back, and we don't want to shoot each other in the back. Yeah, you guys both want to live. You you walk away with your uh, lives, you and you still threat. make 5,000 bucks. Yeah, you don't want the threat to be 1 on 1 on 14, you know? I'll be generous. You can have the reward for Indio. What? And I'll take the reward for the rest of the band. Okay. Oh, great. I didn't even know there was a reward. No, well, Indio's worth $10,000, but the but rest are of the they band they worth adds up to more much than more than that. that. 10000 there's a few more to add up to more than that, I'm sure. Hmm. I think I might just take you up on your proposition. Let's drink to this partnership. No tricks, of course. No tricks. All right, I kind of I kinda like that. I'm happy that we're working together. Yeah, I this like is interesting. Both of these characters. One from the outside, one from the inside. There's no other way. One of us will have to join Indio's band. Mm. Why are you looking at me when you say one of us? <laughs> well, because you're going to be better than him. Yeah. Wild sees me and the sample catch on fire. I'd suggest you take him. Sancho Perez. He's cooling off in Alamogordo jail. Oh, that was the guy that they're talking about, maybe? Yeah. Naturally, you'll have to arrange for his um, release. Okay, so uh, I think it's the same actor, but it's supposed to be a different character. Yeah, I, I, I assumed that Sorry, because I when they were talking about Indio and stuff, I was like, oh, that's not his name. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the other gang members, and stuff, it's just the same actors. Gotcha. Just as reckless as you. Then one day something happened. It made life very precious to me. Hmm. What's that? Or is the question indiscreet? The question isn't indiscreet, but the answer could be. The answer is... <laughs> is there some connection Yeah, there has them? to be. Is that why he's so, like, flipped out? Did he cheat? 
Doesn't feel like that. Is this his daughter? Might be. Or or son, like either one. Shoot, dude. But why is he... It's weird that he's like kind of like remembering or something. There's something more to this, I yeah. think. Or to his character or something. <laughs> so who the heck are you? Like, we done this before, bro. What the heck? It's gonna blow him out. <laughs> Freaking what a legend! The stealthiest prison break. Why don't you just kill him? That'd be unlucky. <laughs> he understood the job. Yeah, no, no question. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'm out. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, he's in. I mean, it's a little suspicious. So, like, why would he do it? You know? No, unless he says, look, I want to be part of your game. Oh, I guess I'm so. ambitious yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is what I want. Yeah, yeah. He wants, like, he yeah, wants in. Group. Yeah, just be honest. Almost. Who is that with you? He got me out. Man's a friend of mine. Why did he help you? Did you ask him that? Yeah. Yeah. Amigo, why did you help <laughs> the me? The whole out? ride? You didn't ask? <laughs> Such a big reward being offered on all you gentlemen. Thought I might just tag along on your next robbery. Might just turn you into the law. <laughs> Dude, that's risky, but it's it it plays to them. Yeah. Ooh. Amigo, that's the one answer that will prove you all right. And you arrived just in time too. The job is already set. The fact that he's after the money. It's tomorrow. Mm. Where are you going? Well, if there's gonna be any shooting. I gotta get my rest. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the soundtrack really get like they're doing really cool things with it. This movie, especially. Yeah. That story yesterday, I fell for it. Big joke, wasn't it, amigo? Why would it be a joke? Who said I was joking? I don't get that. If it's true, who bad you have to die? <laughs> what is? <laughs> is he hitting him with the double fake? I don't know. No. Hey. I, I didn't it didn't seem like him, but I I wasn't sure like if he was going like for a So that's three of them down, right? Yeah. Still eleven guys. In the owner's band have just robbed a bank here in town. Why don't you just sit down and send out the alarm? <laughs> Dang. I didn't hear any shots at the bank, and I sure would have. You might hear one. <laughs> the alarm. I feel bad for anybody that gets in his way, man. This guy's just trying to make some. Well, I like how he just, he just, he's just doing his thing. You know, he's not a, he's not a, you know, exceptional good guy. He no, just, he's not like trying to prove himself to these guys either. Like he's actually doing the right thing, but he's like, I don't care. I'll tie you up. Do what I want you to do. <laughs> he's going to be like, but what about my eggs? My breakfast. They robbed the bank of Santa Cruz. Follow me. Yeah, but isn't this going to... I think that's what they want. They want the guys away from El Paso so that they I can do so. it? I think so. I thought they were going to warn all banks that they were ready. You know, that was my... I don't know exactly. Interesting. <laughs> I like how this has elements of the first movie, almost like an homage to it, but it's like it's doing its own... This is kind of like the horse chase for the first movie and even like him infiltrating the gang. But like it's doing its own thing at the same time as well. Yeah, it's still very different. It's got its own plot going. I just kind of want to see what happens here because I'm a little confused. I think I'm just small brain right now, but I'm trying to figure it out. No, I am too. Because those four, they were supposed to go to El Paso, rob the bank, and then they meet up, right? Or something like that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. They're supposed to draw them away. That's right. They were going to go in and then they meet up at a different area. But he already like alerted them before they shot the telegram fires. Yeah. So they're walking right into a trap, right? Yeah. But I thought, wouldn't they not want that? Because don't they want the bounty? Yeah. That's what I don't understand. Yeah. Then we now know this guy has personal hmm. motive involved. I wonder if that's the main reason he took the job. You think so? Maybe. I like they keep showing the red. I think the red wagon's the Wells Fargo wagon, you know, like oh, is the it? nail wagon. That's what they named the bank after. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, afternoon. Yeah, I was going to say, I imagine you probably get really bored in here. <laughs> okay, yeah, they are. They're going to 2v. 2v11. That's why they led them away, because they wanted the bounty. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that was their job to begin with, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> they have the little things over there. 12. Where'd they go? I don't know. What the heck? <laughs> What was their plan? Are they gonna get him behind? Get him on the back, yeah. All of them, though? What the heck? Oh, I don't see that one guy with them. Where are they going? They gotta be going around the back. That's what it's gotta be. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Oh, they're right there, man. That was a different group of people that split off from them. Yeah, they have four here. They had five the other side. Oh, oh, shoot, dude. Go, 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 go. That's gonna pull it out. Yeah, shoot. Put it in the wagon. Nah, dude, you don't stand a chance. Dang, guys, we got freaking played. Now what? That was really smooth. I'm not rooting for him, but that was smooth. How are we gonna get them? I guess he could still stay undercover. Maybe say that the other three got shot, shot up. What are right, you doing what's here? You're not running away, are you? <laughs> I'm going after them. I'm going alone. My partnership <laughs> is dissolved. What? Let's wait and talk it over. Wait, what? I've been reasonable with no results. Now take it easy. Well, but now I'm gonna meet India. I see. I better go along. Come I'm on, going guys. alone, me. Dude, I you're have an better off. With Indio and I'm not gonna let anyone else interfere. You're certain about that? Yeah, but he'd still help out. Shoot. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. What the heck? He can't let him That's kill him. Bad. Indio sent four men to Santa Cruz, and one man returns, a new man, without a scratch. Okay. Indio's no idiot. Can you ride up to him again and show him that the little CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got shot. As of today, the whole gang is worth forty thousand dollars more. Who? By the bank to get the money back. Really? Is the ship operating again? How do you figure? Wait, that's G. Wait, so did Where's he do Indio that on purpose? Go, go along the Rio Bravo. It's a good spot for an ambush, and we can get him between two. Uh, it must have been then. It feels too like convenient. Either that, or he just knew that that it wouldn't hurt. That actually makes more sense. Wait, what? He just knew that if they failed, it wouldn't hurt. You know. And so this uh, is that's possible. Like, yeah. All that's gonna happen is you get more money. Wait, so th this thing might actually be metal or something like that on the I think inside, right? It, yeah. Yeah. It's still going to be really suspicious. It is going to be pretty suspicious. Also, uh, that writing is incredible. That was him. It is from all sides. You just hate your own skin, you yellow butt. Ooh. <laughs> you did your part of it. Let's go. Which way we headed? Is see. He... North. Okay. Along Rio Bravo Canyon? Why not? Seems like a good place for an ambush to me. What? You know a better way to go? Yeah, south. What? No. Think we're at east. <laughs> Agua caliente. Yes, I have many friends here. It looks just like a morgue. Wait, so was he trying to screw over Mortimer? Or is this his way of getting closer or something? I don't I'm not sure. You never saw a friend here shoot, right? I got a way you can show the men. Okay, sick. Mm. We'll show. How's that? Going to town alone, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Are you worth any money? He just took out three guys like you guys. Like, yeah, this is easy. No, it's kind of far range, but that is true. He's not great at range. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's not do this. Oh, I shoot down there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what? shoot. He's there. Did you follow him? Bravo. <laughs> They're like, wait. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, <laughs> on the other end of that. What? What now? I figured you'd tell Indio to do just exactly the opposite of what we agreed. <laughs> and he's suspicious enough to figure out something else. Well, here I am. Uh, some good guesswork. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's gonna... Are they gonna recognize Shoot. him? Shoot. Is, is he gonna, like, be suspicious or just take it out on them, maybe? Well, yeah, but the other guy knows him, right? Okay. That's why he said he would recognize him right away. Remember me, amigo? He's like, nah. <laughs> El Paso. It's a small world. <laughs> you light another match. I generally smoke just after I eat. Why don't you come back in about 10 minutes? <laughs> Dang. Could you yawn? Count to three. One, two, three. Ooh. Dang, he had a... Sick. Stop it. That was sick. <laughs> Is he gonna join? 
Does he recognize him? Who are you? I'm the one that can open the safe for you. Uh, what? He is going to join them. Open that safe and you're going to destroy half the banknotes. I can open it without blowing it up. What? This is the plays, man. Dang. So maybe he could get inside the gang. He just said he couldn't. Okay. What did it cost? 5000 <laughs> even, even he knows he's out of his... Five. I mean, what's... Yeah, you might as well, like, listen to... Him. We burning through. He's burning, like, the lock, essentially? Yeah, probably, like, the... The locking mechanism or whatever. Oh, he's like, freezing it. Dang. Oh, my goodness. We're going to wait here for an entire month, if I think it's necessary. And everybody will get his share. And you'll wait a month. Yeah, that makes sense, because he doesn't want him running around with the money. He seems... A little bit nervous or something. India? Yeah. Mm, I mean, understandably. Does he have any secret plays or anything like that? Watch him just I take off with dude, the money. I don't know, man. I feel like everyone has plays. Yeah. Like, this movie is not like telling, like it's just treating everybody maturely. And so right. uh, anything could happen at this point. How do you even trust your own guys? You know? Uh, I'm worried he recognizes this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's about to do some more uh, sneaking around. I wonder if it'd be too beneath them to just sneak these guys right now, you know? Maybe. Would it be below him? I think he wouldn't do it. It's too risky. He's not that risky. He's smart. He doesn't take risks unless he absolutely has to. I feel like you could take care of all of them pretty quick. I feel like this is too obvious though, man. Like, uh, someone's bound to have already yeah. thought about this. In 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 oh. Okay. What? Yeah, see? It's someone else. Did Mortimer already think of it? <laughs> I just freaking knew it. I was worried about you all alone with uh, so many problems to solve. <laughs> like, who's in there? Is there someone in there? That freaking, uh, what do you call it? It looks like it. That's a little Isn't worrisome. It? It's all right here. What? what? Go ahead. What? Wait, but... I thought we were we were taking the money. We're taking or we're taking the money back. I don't know. <sighs> this is so sus. This is. We I don't know what be we're doing. Really here. careful, Hall. Oh damn! He's freaking welding it back together. Basically, what is going on here? <sighs> oh. oh, you are screwed. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that was that. Dang, guys. Put it on. Ooh. <laughs> dang. <laughs> oh, bro. You're being too trusting, man. You're all just gonna beat the crap out of them. They're gonna get back at you. That's your mistake. <laughs> yeah. Dang, he still gave a kick out. Yeah, I like that one guy punched him and like backed up. Suppose he finds the bodies of these men just outside El Paso. Oh, that's actually really smart. We lots of money on that. Yeah, but not all of it, maybe. Oh, he doesn't know about the money. He threw it in the tree. And also, they they won't be able to check because they ha well they have to get through the lock. In your one shot. I freaking. Dang. It's like you can never trust each other. You yeah, know? that's it's why like you can't work for these gangs, man. Dang, look at that gate. Needs some repairing. He's pretending to betray them. It's not loaded. Because he wants to know where the money is. That's what this yeah, is. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't trust. Yeah, this guy's way too loyal. He killed just enough men to convince them, but not enough to where it actually matters. I don't trust him. I think you should get out fast now. Here's your guns without bullets. Don't you let Indio find you both around. Dude, that would be so sus. I'd be like, what are you talking about? At the same time, I almost wouldn't question it. Because they were almost certainly dead. Yeah, but I'd think about it, you know, like what? Yeah, why I'd would, think about why it after, would they do I, after I booked. <laughs> you can't tell me there's someone that nice in that group of freaking <laughs> Like, Okay, bro. Yeah, but I think you might be right. That's why. How long have you known that monk was a bounty killer? I found out tonight. I knew he was one from the first moment he arrived. Mm. So he did know. The other one's also a bounty killer. He knows about all of that. So I have an idea. Those men are a lot better than mine with a gun. Hold up. We let all of them get mixed up in a gun, but, but that won't really matter. 
to me. Because you get all the money? Okay, so... He, Are you? No, see, he thinks that the money's still in there. That means... We'll be far away, and we'll have all the money. I freaking knew he was gonna run off with the money by himself or something. I don't even trust... <laughs> I don't know about. Go on, I would yeah, continue. if you're what's his name, it's it, like you. I wouldn't trust him now at all. It's like it's like you know you being getting with somebody who cheats on their boyfriend or whatever. Then it's like well, th you can't ever trust them now. Well, especially in this case, right? Like I can yeah, understand like having faith in someone even if they've lied before. It's like okay, well, it's like bro, these guys like they do this for a living. They're just morally bad. Well, can you imagine waking up to your your creepy crime boss looking at you while you sleep? Uh, isn't that, oh, is that the dead the guy? Dead guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shoot. Why don't you look at it now? Oh, they're blaming it on the other the guy two whose knife they took. It's mine. Oh, wait. That was his? And it shouldn't be there, yeah. should it? Uh-oh. But I didn't kill him in you. <sighs> I didn't do it. But Chilio, it's difficult to prove that. Dang, this guy's more messed up than the, uh, <laughs> the other guys. He's really smart, though. One of the horses is outside. Let's see if you can get to it. Jeez. Ooh. Oh, was... In hell. <laughs> oh, dude. This guy. This guy. What a slimy little bastard. Cuchillo just killed Slim. <laughs> and he helped us to body kill us get away. Goodness, dude. I want him back. Right now. Right now. Shoot. Right now! What are you doing here? I tell you, they must both be killed right away. I have to kind of respect the genius of this, though. It's so messed up, even by like, even by like criminal standards, because he's not even loyal to his own men. Yeah, I feel like genius. those guys are actually loyal to him, you know, yeah. but he knows that. Well, if I'm Nino or whatever, I'm killing him at the first I'm blasting yeah. him fast. <laughs> Like, Prepare maybe after all here. this stuff settles, you know? Because, like, bro, I'd be like, I can't trust you at all. Yeah, but he's got to know that, too. You got to be super careful. Yeah. <laughs> what? Not a bad idea, India. What is happening? But I have one thing you forgot about. Open it up now. Dang. I, good for Groggy. I'm kind of rooting for him. That's crazy. All right, come on now. Open it. Dang, good for him, dude. There's nothing in there. <sighs> You've all been played. <laughs> oh, come on. These are the, the mob. The mobs. Come Leave India to me. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's got a score to settle or something. I'm just realizing, and I know this is just, I'm sure that it is a rep. Well, I don't know. I think probably a reference to this movie, but that pistol he has, it's like one of the pistols that Boba Fett has with the like extra stock on it. Oh, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. cool. Be Gosh. careful. Guys, be freaking careful. Yeah, we're fast, but let's hope we're not fast at Too killing fast each at other. Killing each other. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, if I thought I was going to get $40,000, I'd be pissed. I have a plan, Groggy. Don't trust him, Groggy. What? Let's just wait, Groggy. They'll be back here. Yeah, he knows now, I think. And this way, there'll be two of us. Can they come back here? And then gonna kill them. <laughs> Are you sure of that, Indio? But they haven't. As sure as you can be. I'm not as dumb as the rest of them, Indio. I was not hired for it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, <laughs> wow. That easy mode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a cool shot. Dang. Ah, oh, you're hitting the wall. Good job. It's not like he's in black against a white wall or anything. Well, yeah, it's not like he was completely behind the wall as you were shooting. Go on. Oh, you guys are so screwed. These are some good walls. Yeah, this is going to offer you some cover. Oh, oh for Whoa! <laughs> he, he doesn't even need to shoot into the hut. Perfect. Dang, bro. <laughs> you didn't even kill it? I do like the like little explosive effects and stuff. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. It looks really clean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just aim down really quick. Oh my Get gosh. Here, bro. <laughs> if you think you got the second hand on him. No! Oh, <laughs> the freaking turns around. He's in the freaking armchair. 
Mm. You know, my man was literally freaking taking it easy. I like that it's realistic though too, because it's like, why would there be a thing? But I think it was at like the barber shop where they have kind of like stuff like that sometimes. Yeah. That watch, I can see that it means a lot to you, Indigo. Why? It's like he's obsessed with that girl or something like that. Yeah, like he wanted her for himself or something. Kind yeah. Creepy. But he but he he has this weird like, you know, after um like now when he's remembering it, you know? Jeez, man. That's so freaking horrible. What? Oh, is that why he's so like messed up about it or something? Like she would rather kill herself than like. Or is she, I mean, also it could be that he was just so obsessed with her, but like she like killed herself. That was horrible. It's interesting to see that he because he wasn't reacting to it how you would expect. You know, he was like weirdly having flashbacks. It was almost like, and that makes sense now. Dude, at this point, I'm like, just freaking don't even just regularly kill him. Ooh. Dang. Be careful. No. Did he get hit? Didn't look like it. Must have like shot the gun out of his hand or something like that. When the chimes end, pick up your gun. Try and shoot me, cut it out. Come on, Clint. <laughs> he took his. Chimes in then, baby. He got his gun. <laughs> He's ready to. He's got a rifle, too. Oh, wait. Don't, yeah. Don't even, wait, never mind. That's even, not his gun. Don't even dare, buddy. Don't even dare. Very careless of you, old man. <laughs> Try this. <laughs> now we start. <laughs> that's so that's so epic. The fact that he doesn't even interfere. Yeah, with that's him, actually goes, no, so no, no, epic. We're doing this the right way. This is amazing. Listen to the music. That's so cold, bro. The amount of disrespect. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot him again. Hmm. Bravo. <laughs> Dude. Seems to be a family resemblance. <laughs> Here, naturally, between brother and sister. Oh. Mm. My gun? Dang. My boy, you become rich. You mean we've become rich, old man? So you're just gonna give him everything? No, it's all for you. I think you deserve it. What about a partnership? Maybe next time. <laughs> That's amazing. If the next movie isn't just about Clint Eastwood on vacation, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, <laughs> he's just chilling the whole movie. Damn. That's a lot of... Wait. Who the hell is this guy? Is this... Uh, what's his name? The... the what's his name? Drago? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you kidding me, bro? Just keep your head down. Are you actually gonna try something here? Are you serious, bro? You've been given a chance by God to not be dead yet. 22. Okay. Well. Oh dang! I need one more. Oh no! Like <laughs> <It's bad>. twenty-seven. <laughs> Any trouble, boy? No, old man. Thought I was having trouble with my attic. It's all right now. <laughs> this movie's amazing. I was worried about the actors there. I thought they were going to fall out. I know. I thought they were going to fall out too. That's a little dangerous. Dang, bro. He's getting the money too. Look at this. Dude, wait. He's going to be so rich. Dude, he literally is. He has like $80,000. Wait, but which is at he the time is that? like $50 million or something. Like, or not, I don't know about $50 million, but it's a lot. I thought they said that that bank 
that uh safe had like half a million in it. Well, they're gonna give him forty for it back. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say, is he keeping it? I was like, no, right? I mean, I don't know. He could. I feel like he that's possible for him. I feel like it's possible. I feel like, but it's kind of it's starting to cross the line for him or something like that. You know, maybe because wouldn't that just make him an outlaw? That's true. At that point, <laughs> the soundtrack. Oh, amazing. What do you think? That was good. That, I, like that I like that even better than the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one a lot. That was great. That was great. I think that, yeah, that was just really good. I think that they did, like, I think the things, that, at least for me, that made the first one, or I was at least worried. I was like, I don't want it to just be the same thing as A Fistful of Dollars. Mm. And I think that they perfectly answered kind of what I was looking for. Because you were saying, like, look, I don't want him to change too much as a character, which you're right. But I also, I at least wanted there to be, like, some sort of emotional through line here, whereas the first movie, there wasn't as much. Mm -hmm. And I feel like what they did with Colonel, the Colonel, was perfect. Where it's, like, it didn't compromise his character. He's still that same old, like, almost heartless, but not quite Mm anti-hero. But then having this, like, deeply dark and, like, personal story with the Colonel, Mm-hmm. I think at I don't know I I loved that this this movie was amazing. Yeah 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 no I'm glad they didn't change my boy at all. Um, they kept him you know fairly you know no nonsense and kind of just doing his own thing like yeah it's still a little scubby like he like he was like ah screw it I'm gonna go the other direction yeah, yeah, yeah. like he still did kind of and I liked that. Yeah yeah no I I do like that a lot and he you know he he wants what he wants and he'll get it yeah you know I mean he won't obviously he won't freaking become a. A straight murderer or nothing but, like that but, but he's, he's not like, afraid to get his hands dirty yeah either. yeah and when yeah. i say murder i mean like of innocent people right he's not gonna go blasting around like you he's know not gonna go killing the locals though, except for like all the 20 people he just shot in the face yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no um, yeah no but it was cool and i i like that uh this movie kind of added in like an, another like extra element with the colonel and stuff like that and having that kind of like backstory it was it had the same vibe, but it was constructed very differently. I agree. I like. And I thought it, I think it was constructed better, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. to compare too much, but I just I feel like this movie was really, really well done. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I loved the Colonel's character. I really loved the soundtrack. I feel like they went even crazier. And with the like chimes, that was such a cool motif. Like they turned it into a motif for the character. And I thought that was cool. I think like. This is kind of an interesting topic, but I, I, I always question whatever it might be. You kind of have those like hardcore scenes or just like sex scenes or whatever, like if it's necessary. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, you know, a lot of the answers a lot of times is like, nah, it's like it's supposed to put you in the shoes or whatever. I feel like this movie is a perfect example of a movie that did not go any further than it needed to go. Mm-hmm. While really like as a viewer, I was like unusually comfortable, uncomfortable, not comfortable, uncomfortable. Uh, gotcha. Like it was like freaky and weird. I don't know if that was just me and how it hit me in the moment, but like that whole scene, because of how they did the music and the visuals, it was like horrifying without having to show any, really anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure for the time it was much more graphic and stuff like that, but I still think that's, I think that takes a unique skill to avoid being like gratuitous while also still making you feel like wildly, like, like feel what you need to feel. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely see that. And I, I want to call that out because I think it's really cool when you, when it is done like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I also like the music personally. I like the vocals. Yeah. I think the vocals add a lot to the, the to the soundtrack. It makes it feel very like um, epic and somewhat triumphant kind of like. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's It really adds a lot to it. Yeah, I think it, it, this movie found a balance and, and sometimes I was lost, but I, I prefer that where it was very subtle storytelling, even with like the sister and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I liked that. Like it was like they didn't really clarify their relationship with like Indio or anything, but it was like you could tell it was weird and like kind of creepy and obsessive without them yeah. having to say anything. And if you didn't pick up on it, then then you didn't like they I don't know. This very much felt like a passion project. They weren't going to bow down and go like, no, you need to know this or like whatever. They just let it sit there and be like a very mature story and you pick up on the subtleties of what this may or may not be or what like even a worse movie very quickly would have been like it's his it's his sister that got raped like that stuff mm-hmm. like they would have said that immediately to get you and it's like they didn't need to like you can infer at least some of it and go like all right he was related to her somehow like all of it i don't know yeah 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 no for sure and i, I like i actually liked indio 
India's kind of character just because oh I don't personally like him oh, as a yeah, villain like morally yeah no but not just that but as like a villain because I just he's just not my style I guess you would say like you know if I want to see a villain that's not the type of villain sure, I sure. want to see but like I do also kind of like appreciate the difference to like last time's villain and yes. like villains in general like yes he was not as like strong or like powerful which i didn't expect actually when they yeah. started i was like oh we're kind of doing the same shtick all over again and then it very much wasn't yeah and he weirdly was like a, a little bit complex with his like he had all these things going on with him you know he was well, yeah he was very tricky manipulative but also like weak in a way like yeah. he was struggling with things you know like it was weird that he had this weird twisted love for um the sister mm. you know and he was almost like couldn't let that go mm. you know yeah and i like that like I, I think the way they did it especially like when you look at older movies right and, and not that i blame anyone people didn't and fully understand but like but like mm -hmm. you get that kind of like cinematic crazy which i'm cool with too like I, I love a good joker i love a good any of these sorts of things but i like that this movie didn't do that it was like no people like that kind of do act like that like they did it very very realistically and i think it kind of took me off guard of just kind of this like weird off-putting kind of like freaky character without playing too much to the camera or making mm -hmm. it kind of this like over dramatic sort of thing it was just like nah i don't know I, just the look that he had in his eyes and like kind of some of the weird like zoning out and like i don't know they did a perfect job with that I yeah think. yeah i think they did very well yeah so i'm i am very excited for the sequel now because obviously the good the bad and the ugly is like the legendary film that everyone yeah. knows about. I didn't even know I'm it was curious. a trilogy until like two or three weeks ago. So um, as always, full link reaction is going to be up on the Patreon. The next week's reaction, the good, the bad, and the ugly is up for early access. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. And if you do, we'll see you all in the next video.